Watching Let's Chat. Many of you are fans of stand-up comedy, and if you haven't seen our next guest yet, you are short-circuiting yourself. Meet Moody Malavi. Moody has been a longtime comedian, entertainment guy here in the Chattanooga area, and welcome to the show. You uh, actually grew up here, but you were a transplant. You were born way over in the Middle East, well, right? Yeah, a few 10,000 miles away. How does that translate from being born in, where was it you were born? In Iran. In Iran. Yes. Over to Chattanooga. Um, Culture shock, to say the least. Yeah, like the word football means something completely different. Uh, does it really? Yes. Do I need to ask well, what that means? Well, well, football, you know, to me, it was a round ball, and we just, you know, kicked it right. to get a goal. But here, we said we wouldn't play football at all six years old, and they put pads on us. So. <laughs> gotcha. So, you have recently moved from Chattanooga to Nashville. Why? Uh, so, my wife had an uh, opportunity to chase after her dream job, mm -hmm. and... Um, I Me and the two boys said absolutely, and we made it all work. So you are still doing um, some IT work in addition to doing comedy full time. Yes. So you're a busy individual, and I got to tell you, his uh, what? Tell me about this this thing that is just gone viral. You hit over one million views on the Dry Bar Comedy Special. One million. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So Dry Bar Comedy is all clean comedy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Netflix, but it's all clean comedy. I got you know, maybe 200 hours of, of comedy out there. Right. And I had a, an amazing opportunity open up earlier this year. Uh, went over to Utah. Uh, my wife Kelly and I flew out there and had the best time. Uh, did a couple shows, did a recording, and then uh, it came out this October, uh, mid-October, and it hit a million views. You know, it was about a month or so. Every time I've seen you do stand-up, I'm amazed because you do family-oriented humor. You don't hear a lot of the profanity that a lot of other comics do. How do you keep adding material to your act, but yet still keep it essentially family-friendly? So uh, my wife Kelly and I, we write a lot of stuff together. Uh, if she laughs at anything, then we scrap it because she doesn't like comedy at all. Right. She, uh, uh, if she laughs, it means like, oh, this is so <laughs> not going to work, but I'm going to enjoy you watching me do it. Um, it's we just take everyday life, you know, every, every single thing that happens to us. We have this message, that, uh, several messages throughout the set. So that's one thing is the set isn't just funny. There's actually uh, messages that, that come out throughout the end and then wrap it together. There's a science to this. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. But the one message is called Take the LSD. And uh, when I was getting shirts and, and, and stickers made up, they wouldn't make it because they thought it was promoting drug use. But right. it's take the least stressful decision. So everything, we have stress in all our lives all, all day long. And there's ways to just find what's the least stressful path to get out of it and just do that. And, and that's one of the biggest premises of, of my comedy. So we find the stories that go with that. When you go to a totally strange city and you go to a comedy bar, as a fan, what appeals to you most? Um, Not the comedian in you, but as just a fan watching a whole other set. So, so the distractions, there's so many distractions that could possibly happen at a comedy show, whether it's uh, people talking or, or, or uh, even the servers getting orders, especially for people that can't hear very well. Um, and, and there's all these little distractions and it takes away from what's on the stage. Um, and people don't realize that. And then you'll have some people that are like, hey, you know, I've never been to a comedy show, but I love comedy and I, wanna, I want to partake and I want to help the comedian out. And they'll throw a little one-liner and zingers while the comedian's up there. And it just takes everything off because your, your entire, uh, uh, as a comedian, uh, or even watch a comedian, you can see how that rhythm just dies right. because they're having to address this uh, out there. So it takes away from everything. And that, uh, you know, I do a lot of church stuff too, and mm -hmm. I, not I noticed that when I do productions for churches uh, where I'm the guy in the back um, doing what all you guys are doing back there, um, any distractions takes away from the message. You're so. always sort of editing on the fly, if you, you will. And like you, I've seen a number of comedians who hecklers can ruin the act, and I've seen comedians where they can make, with a few short words, make hecklers wish they had never been born. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, people say, well, uh, one of the worst things I, I hear all the time is, well, I, I can't wait to go to your show so I can heckle you. I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, no, you know, no, not a good that's, idea. That's not, oh, don't come to the show if that's what you want to do. But, but, uh, and, and when people do that, they don't realize that you got 200, 250 people that came to that show right. and they all paid 20 bucks. They didn't come pay 20 bucks for this guy. Sure. You know, so, and then I, I point that out. If it gets too bad, I'm like, hey, man, here's the mic, go for it. And that pretty well shuts them up.
Yeah. They will drop it. <laughs> they will drop it. Tell us how we can find out more about the Moody Malavi story and find out more of your information, where you're going to be performing, and that sort of thing. So, uh, we've got a website, moodymalavi.com. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know how to spell it, I'm sure they'll throw a thing out there. They just did. They threw the thing out there. Yeah, it is there Moody, M O L A V I, comedy. Yes. And there's not many comedians with the name Moody Malavi. So no, there's not. All you have to do is go to the website. There's information there. There's uh, some good uh, Moody Malavi swag that you can take advantage of. And you can also get your free LSD shirt, sticker, what have you, which stands for. Take the LSD is, is uh, take the least stressful decision. Least stressful decision. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope you'll come back and join us soon. And um, try not to add to the traffic jam in Nashville. Yeah. All right, we're back with more of Let's Chat coming up right after this.